Alrighty guys, so fun one today. So you know the wheels that I run on the drift car, the NK RPF ones, I've just got them over here. These bad boys, so I've been running these on the drift car for quite a while now. Absolutely mint, beautiful condition. But today we're actually gonna be getting rid of them because I had someone hit me up who has a set of wheels that have really good specs for the Ruby rebuild. So we're gonna be doing a trade plus some cash his way and I'm gonna be getting some new wheels which will hopefully be Ruby's wheels. Hopefully they are really nice. But he's on his way now so give me five and, and hopefully we'll have some new wheels for Ruby. So right now on Ruby I run the Work Equip 01s but they are such a crazy offset. There is absolutely no way that I can run them on Ruby 2.0, the rebuild, because they just they just stick out way too much. The tires are way too big. So we're gonna have to get new wheels, super keen. If you have any guesses on what wheel it would be, it is a Japanese wheel. Super known brand, super cool, old Jap cars. Yeah, drop it down in the comments um, if you guess it right. I don't know, maybe I'll send you a sticker or something, but have a guess. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to see more of this stuff, guys. Alrighty, so it's done. I made the trade. The RPF ones are gone. They have gone onto a E30 coupe, which actually looks spicy as. Not gonna lie, I did not like them on the MX-5, but I think it really suits the BMW E30 and it looks sick. But onto what we got. These wheels are definitely baller as. And so before I show you them, they are a 15 times nine negative zero or zero offset. So they're pretty thick and they sit pretty far out, but they should be really sick on Ruby. They should work really well on this car. So without further ado, welcome to Ruby's new wheels. So that's it. We got a set of SSR Mark 3s. So these are a genuine Jap SSR wheel um, made in Japan. And do you want to know my favorite part about these wheels? Legitimately, my favorite part is the center cap. Look at this center cap. Oh, it is so cool. It just, I don't know, I don't know. I just think it looks really sick. It has a complete set of center caps. We've got four center caps. I think I've even had a, I don't think I've ever had wheels with center caps before. Even the big old work equips on Ruby, no center caps. <laughs> it is an absolute disgrace, I know, but super stoked. Right now, we're gonna see how these fit on the car and we're gonna see how much they poke um, on the stock guards. But just remember, we are not running the stock body on Ruby. Yes, we've taken her flares and her big wide body kit off, but we are not going to be running a stock body. Yuck. We're just gonna mount it on the car, no spaces, and we're just gonna see what it looks like. Alrighty, so there we have it. That is the stock, no spaces, nothing fitment. That's what we've got. We've got about that much. So, I mean, when you compare it to what I was running, <laughs> it's definitely a lot less aggressive, but still an awesome looking wheel. I, to be honest, looking at it like this, I don't really get much of a gist of what it's gonna look like when they're all on the car and the car's lowered and you know what I mean? So, but saying that, it should look pretty neat. So here's our comparison right here. So on this side, we have my 15 by 10 work equipped. You see how much that sticks out? And then we come over here, so much less. Which really isn't cool. It's way less cool in my opinion, but at least when we are gonna be running the much less wide body, it's still gonna look pretty cool. And we're still gonna have some really baller wheels, which, you know, just elevates the build just that little bit more when you're running a nice high tier, Genuine Japanese wheel. Always a must on high tier builds, always a must. Also, how good's this? I got these frames the other day, and I legit, I've framed Ruby's defect notice, signed it down there and dated, but yeah, we now have a uh, framed defect notice. Just, you know, just for the memes. You know what, what we might do is actually grab the jack, and with that wheel on, I'll jack the wheel up, and we'll actually get to see, we'll get to see what it looks like once it's jacked up, um, tucking up into the fender, and it's nice and low. Okay. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> Wait, we could totally go even more than that. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, boys. How do, how do you rate the fitment? How do you rate the fitment on it? <laughs> oh, that is pretty cool. Yeah. So cool. Look at that angle. Damn. Okay, yeah. There we go. That right there, that sold me. That looks baller. 